Hello everybody, welcome back to the RC Garage. Today we got the bouncer back on the bench. I'm going to finish up this winch install, finally get it all wired up, get the remote programmed, and take it out and test it to see how good it's going to do. But before we get into all that, I want to thank everybody for all the support they've been showing the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you like these videos, then let me know by smashing that like button. And if you want to see more and you haven't already, then please subscribe. Now let's get to it. Alright, to control the winch, I'm going with a Hey OK Performance winch controller for a three position channel. I just went ahead and got the one that runs off of the six volt receiver power. And if this winch needs more power, then I can pick up one of their winch controllers that runs off a standalone battery. But this should work just fine. And I'll have a link to all the parts used in this video in the description. All right, everything's working like it's supposed to. I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up all this wiring. I'll bring you guys back once I get it all finished up, show you the final product, and then we'll go over how to program the four PLS to run the winch on the third channel.
All right, guys, here it is all finished up. Went ahead and threw the Hey OK scale winch hook on there. Used locked up RC winch rope to match the orange color scheme. Went ahead with the red winch hook because there is red wiring on there, as you can see. The gas tank is red, so that way it kind of ties that in together. Get all the wiring cleaned up. The gas tank back together. Now we'll move on to programming the 4PLS. All right, now programming the 4PLS to run the winch is really simple. First thing you do is switch it on to the display. Go to the function menu, the second menu, the SW dial. You go down here to whichever one you want to use. I like using the, D, the DT3 or the DT4 because it's a really easy to get to. It's right here by the thumb. You can push it forward to spool out, pull it back to spool in. And all you have to do is go down and turn this to whichever channel you put the winch on. In my case, it's channel three. And that's all you gotta do. Now to show you how it works, simply go into your power on menu. When you push the DT4 button, the channel three will go 100%. Push it back once and it turns it off. Pull it back again and it reverses. Push it forward, it turns it off. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then let me know by hitting that like button. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. And join me back here every Thursday.